The New England Patriots, 11-5 last year, your Super Bowl champions. To win the division, they are minus 400 out in Vegas. Their strength of schedule, the softest in the league, number 32. Turnover margin last year, they were number five in the league, plus 10. That, now, Bilicek is, uh, has always been good at that. Uh, offense, well, you just don't turn the ball over. Yeah. There's not that they're a ball hawking team. Yeah, they just they If just you fumble, you sit down. Yep. And then you never come back. Total yards per play, they were number nine in the league last year at 5.9. Defense, total yards per play, number 16. They gave up 5.7. Uh, no defensive coordinator this year. That is to be determined. Nope. It, well, it, it'll be Belichick. But. Bill, Bill's made it clear. I'm just going to run the defense. Yeah. Uh, Trey Flowers is gone. They drafted Chase Winovich. Uh, Jamie Collins comes back. Uh, offense coordinator Josh McDaniels drafted uh, Nikhil Harry, wide receiver out of Arizona State. Uh, and they got running back Damian Harris, uh, who will be a third. I, I think that the reason I bring him up, I think he fits the offense better than Sony Michelle does. I, but, I do too. But the offense could be completely different this year without Rob Gronkowski. There's no replacing him. So do they run like <laughs> multiple tight ends? Do they? They're gonna run. They're gonna run multiple tight ends, and they're gonna run the ball. And their receivers, they're gonna have two running backs on the field at all times. I, I don't. I don't know what this offense is gonna look like. I know this. They got more running backs in the league than anybody in the on the team than anybody in the league. Yeah. Yeah. They got no receivers at all. Nikhil Harry is instantly the number one wideout because Edelman's gonna play in the slot. Yeah. And and I don't think uh, uh, Dorsett is gonna. You know, I, I think no. I think Harry's gonna overtake him. Now he hasn't. He hasn't first, played yet. First, we need to preface all of this because this is the first video we're doing. We're recording this August eleventh. Yeah. All right. If somebody gets hurt between now and the time the season starts, you lose a quarterback, something, Drew Brees goes down, like what we think of a team completely oh, changes. Oh, yeah, completely changes. So, but right now, Nikhil Harry hadn't had a good camp, but in the first preseason game, he comes out, he goes up, he makes a big play on the ball. And the guy's got play. talent. I think before the end of camp is over, He's going to be the best receiver. He's going to be one of the most physical dominant guys. But nobody's replacing Gronk. Yeah. Nobody. It's, it's almost impossible. Um, let me tell you a little story about how Bill Belichick is the master of the salary cap. Oh, right. yeah. Left tackle Trent Brown brought him in last year. He was traded to New England for a third-round pick. Uh, it was a cap hit of only $1.9 million. This offseason, he signed with Oakland for $66 million. And... The Pats get a, a comp Come pick seek. Yep. because of that. So they get him to come in and win a Super Bowl. And now, of course, they've got Isaiah Wynn, who will be back this year. So they have got the the cheapest offensive line in the league, but it's because all of them still have three, four years left on their deal. They are building it through the draft and everything. And, and this team, this organization, understands how to – how to play the game, how to build a team with the salary cap. And it is insane. So what uh what are you looking up here? Uh the most valuable player, person, individual in all of the NFL is is not Bill Belichick. Because Bill Belichick makes a lot of money. Well yeah. It's it's Dante Scarnecchia. I'm trying to find what Dante Scarnecchia makes in the salary, is what I'm trying to look up. I got his net worth, but that doesn't help me any. And I can't find his salary. Um, but he's the offensive line offensive coach, line coach. Yeah. And, and he takes no name guys, undrafted dudes all the time, turns them in when they become free agents into the highest paid players in the NFL and the Patriots say, bye. And, and guess what? Those great offensive linemen that leave the Patriots and take that payday, never make another pro bowl again. They're never a great again because they truly are a hand in the way yeah. they work. They are five individuals working together for one force. And when one of them does something different, outstanding, unique, and leaves on his own, he's worthless. Not, yeah. not that he's worthless, but compared to what he's valued well, he's, at. He's not worthless. He's just yeah. worth less than he was That's right. with the Pats. And, and then, so this is how he's a, he just does matrix things with the salary cap. I don't understand how some of these things work. Tom Brady got a new extension to your yeah. deal. Somehow his cap hit for this year went down five million dollars, but his salary went up eight million dollars. 
I don't pretend to be a cap expert in the league. I don't know how that works. This year, Tom Brady's going to make $8 million more than he was set to make, but he's going to cost the cap $5 million less this year. That math doesn't make sense to my brain. I don't understand yeah, the rules I don't, I don't get or that how either. that works. But I'll tell you this. That $5 million, that's his wheelhouse. If you look at Van Noy and, and all of the types of guys like that, these these mid-level veterans that Bill brings in, they all make four to $5 million. Bill said, do this deal. We're going to give you an $8 million bump. You're going to save us $5 million. I'm going to turn that $5 million die into some dude that nobody's ever heard of before. He's going to help us win a Super Bowl. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the wheelhouse that he is. I don't know how that stuff works. Yeah. I've got him 12-4 and four this year. They're a projected favorite in 13 games. i got him 12-4 and four also. And let me tell you the games I have him losing. Because I'm going to specifically tell you, A, they're not going to lose a home game. Look at their home schedule. Well, yeah, they're not. It's brutal. Yeah. It's brutal. They got they got Philly at home. They got they, Cleveland they don't at lose home. home. No, they don't. I think they go to Philly. They've got Cleveland at home. They got Pittsburgh at home. They got Kansas City at home. They don't lose home games, and they don't lose to big teams. You know who he's going to lose to? He's going to lose that second game of the season to Miami because they're going to go down that 120 degree heat and they're not going to play well. And Brian Flores is going to get him. They're going to lose a game at the Jets probably because it's just something that they do. They're going to lose a game at Philly, and they're probably going to lose at Houston. Okay. He's going to lose to one playoff team. Yeah, that sounds better. And then they go win the Super Bowl. Because <laughs> that's what he does, right? I mean, that's what he does. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. You're anyway, right. 